Hi, my name is Christopher Hart, and I'm glad you're here today. I'm the author of many books on how to draw, including cartoons. I'm going to show you a cartoon principle today. But first, I want to show you my book, my latest cartooning book, which is called Learn to Draw Cartoons, world's easiest cartooning book ever. Now, today, I want to show you how to exaggerate, but not just a little but a lot, more than you probably think works, but it does, because we're having fun with cartoons. So, we're gonna draw a little chipmunk today. And I'm gonna start, if you'd like to join me, with sort of a, a, big, a big oval, like this, big fat oval. Okay, and we'll have the center line and the low, low eye line, because it's He's gonna have big eyes, he's got a big head, and a little mouth, so he's gonna be what? He's gonna be cute, that's what we're gonna do. And now, we're gonna have the body facing this way. So the, the head faces here, the body faces there, and this goes along with my general principle, which I'm teaching all the time, which is asymmetry. Symmetry, as you know, means things look the same. Like I have one straight line here, and a straight line here. But asymmetry means they're different. I have a straight line here, and a round line here. So here I have facing a front, but he's not gonna face front with the body. It's gonna be asymmetrical. He is going to face the side. And that will put the emphasis on the head. Because if it's all facing forward, you kind of look at the whole thing and nothing stands out, but this will stand out. All right, so look how small that little, bo that little body is. Yeah, I will have the feet coming this way. Have the body a little longer. This does not erase well, this pencil. But it's not meant to, I really like it, but it doesn't, that's not its thing, but what the heck. Okay, and we'll have one arm down here. You're not even gonna show its elbow, it's too small, so it's pudgy, and that's too small. A little tail like this, saving it all for the face, and you'll see how that will work. Because the feet are so small and, and and overlapping, we could actually put them on the same level. That's, you know, once you, if you try to get too detailed and too correct in things that are very small, it can actually look confusing. Graphically, it looks better just to let it be like that. So look at this, look, we have a straight line here curving in, and this one curves out. So that's also a little asymmetrical. Okay, now let's put that little hump for the bridge of the nose, right? And the bridge of the nose, then the nose right here, it's just a little nose. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And bring it down a little bit here. That way we don't have to draw a neck. We don't want to draw the neck on this guy. Very few characters have no necks. Now, we'll bring the sides in ever so slightly. Ever so slightly like this. It just gives a little cute, cute feeling. Because that the cheeks are coming out rather than a everything's round, okay? You get that feeling? Everything's round, nothing's happening. This way it kind of moves out. He's probably, what? He's probably smiling, pushing the cheeks out. So that's a good look. All right, so let's bring this, get the crease lines there for the smile, very important. And we'll bring a tooth down, like so. Or two teeth, a little smile. It's funny because the, the head is so wide, we can give a giant smile, but we're deciding to make it very petite in this giant canvas of a face. It's gonna look good. Okay, let's go with big eyes, very big eyes. Let's take up some room with that. And take a little time to make sure see that, they make, that they look good. When you finish one, rather than finish it completely, I like to go over here. See, this is this far, this is the same distance. And complete the other outline. That way if you need to adjust it, often we do, you're not stuck with something that's completely finished and having to adjust that. You see, I see that this has this distance right here and this distance is a little longer than this. So I want to change that. So you check against yourself. Now all it needs is a little, a little change, and all of a sudden it looks better. Now you might not have even noticed it, but chances are sooner or later you will, or someone else looking at it will, even though it's only subliminal. Let's darken those eyes, outline the eyes now. When we feel that we've got it, 
and we're a little more secure, then we get a little more purposeful in how we draw it. Okay, now, again, lightly, I'm going to make big eyeballs that are close to the bridge of the nose, but not touching the eyes. I don't want this to touch the eye. I still want to kind of float. It's a little too close. Again, a little bit of correction. I hope this is convincing some of you who are too hard on yourselves that you don't have to do it perfectly. I mean, professional artists change things, mo you know, modify them all the time. See, that looks good. Now we took our time, we made a little adjustment. So I'll now fill this in. Another way to think of symmet uh, uh, symmetry is kind of pacing. I'll show you that in a minute. Something we just did, something we're just finishing now. Hey, take a look. We have, we have a huge head, we have medium eyes or big eyes, a small mouth. It's not all the same. It's not big head, big eyes, big mouth, big butt. No, it's, we're, we're pacing it. And that keeps it interesting. Makes the audience want to see it. Let's give them a couple of eyelashes, which make them look innocent. Small eyelashes make a character look innocent. And also put the eyebrows inside, close to the bridge of the nose. Not outside and not large. Little ones for a little guy. Okay, so we will bring this down. And some ears, little ears. And we should just indicate the interior. A couple of ruffles over here. You could even put a marking if you want. A little bit of shadow over here. And now let's have that tummy come down. Not too big, but make it fun. And a little curve of the back, the arch of the back, and the Bottom like so, bring these legs down so they're symmetrical here, because that's just for balance. I mean, I don't want you to go crazy and everything has to be asymmetrical, but when you're trying to make something dynamic, you know, it's a good idea to see if it works that way. For instance, I wouldn't make these eyes asymmetrical. They're looking right at us the same way. It gives, her, it gives them the cute look. But if you were starting to walk, you know, maybe there could be something I would do with that and give him a little tummy marking and an upturned tail a little bit of a shadow like that and you have got it! So there's a gigantic head on a little body turned to the side so that you focus on the face and the size of the face. So just an idea, a lesson to show you that extra exaggeration can work in cartoons. Thanks for visiting today, please subscribe. I have new videos every week. See you next time. Bye-bye.